New table. New table. New table. That's the old table, don't look at that one. So me and Luna had our business thing today. And unfortunately, it feels like there wasn't a lot of discussion that needed to be, like, okay. I had made a list of everything that I wanted to talk about during this month's thing. And then we went through bullet by bullet point by bullet point and got everything done. But a lot of it was just, hey, was this thing what we said? Yeah, okay, let me write it down. Was this what we said? Okay, let me write it down. Because what I noticed was last time um, we had these one of these discussions, neither of us fully remembered what was going on. So I wanted to make sure that it was like written down. <laughs> so now it is and we're all good. Um, hopefully that means next month's will be easy and not repeating everything again. Um, but definitely, um, it was definitely worth taking the time to like make sure everything was like written down so that we can reference it and not like double uh, second guess ourselves. Um, and then the only other like new new thing was like, hey, do you think it's a good idea to play some like shorter games that you can that can be edited in like one session? And Luna was like, probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so I mm, mm. definitely um, definitely worth going and, and sitting down and having this discussion. <sighs> anyway, things are looking okay for plays. Uh, Luigi's Mansion's about to be done, if it's not done already. We have one that was scheduled or came out or whatever. Uh, and then we um, have plans in place for a thousand year door. So, we're gonna... We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. So this is my Steam library now. There are 1,445 games. And the way that I shot up in count like this was the Steam Family Share system. Um, I got me and Jordan, Patrick and Ant, Courtney and Amber all together. And Patrick has a lot of games. He was the last one to join, so I shot up a good, like, 400 in my inventory off of him alone. Um, but it's definitely a, um, a very, uh, interesting system that doesn't work the way you think it does, at least not at first. Um, so let me, let's start with what's advertised. So everybody shares your games. You do need multiple copies if you want to play something multiplayer, unless it's got like the couch co-op thing. Um, but it's very picky with letting people into your family. So I, I'm the one who, um, started the family and there are only six slots. So I have to be like, all right, first off, bang for my buck, who am I going to get the most games out of and who, um, is going to be willing and then who straight up who wants to. So spoke about with Jordan and Patrick and Aunt Amber and Courtney. And then we were like, all right, we could do it. So I set it up and the first one to join was Jordan. Now it made me log into Jordan's account because it said that it didn't know that we were actually part of the same family. There was nothing in our like history to tell. It's like, what does that mean? I don't know, but screw you, figure it out. So I ended up logging into his account and we're uh, we're good now finally um now the other thing is that it doesn't share like free games which is fine it's not that big a deal um but it causes like ant has a lot of free games so he has a lot more than i do but the other thing is that it um it's very inconsistent because courtney did not have to 
have me log in. And Amber, Amber did, actually. But it was also weird because she was the one who accepted it, so I don't know. Um, then Patrick I had to log into and Ant I needed to log into. It was very weird. But it's all set up and everybody is like very happy that we have all of these games. Um, and honestly, there are just a lot of really cool games here that are like, oh, this is cool, but it's not a high priority, so I'm not going to buy it unless it's on like a super sale and then I forget about it or I don't have, or I'm like low on funds when it is on sale. So I um, end up having to pass on it. And then there are a lot of things that Ant and Patrick got off of um, uh, Humble, which, you know, not for nothing. There are a lot of games that come through Humble. Oh my god, that's a wall of Sakura games. Those are all from Patrick, by the way. Um, like I said, he has like 300 to 400 games on his own. But um, honestly, it's a really neat system and it's something that needs to be a little bit less picky to be more helpful to people going forward. But I'm happy we took the time to figure it out and set it up because that means we um, we all got the games. And, you know, if one of us has to sit out a game a day, we'll probably still have enough copies of the multiplayer games that we play most often to be able to, um, to, to have them still play. But, you know, is what it is. And I'm trying to fill the time to, like, get all the way to the bottom, but we're still just reaching the end now. We're, like I said, there's... 1,444 games in my library currently because of the Steam family share. And it's like, ha 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 ha. The only other weird thing is that it, um, um, so let's say you're playing a game and you get banned. It's not necessarily going to be you that gets banned. It's whoever owns the game. And I feel like if you and a friend have this set up and then you have a falling out, yeah, I feel like that might be, like, bad. But whatever. It is still overall a very helpful system, and, you know... <sighs> I have a lot of games now, and so don't be surprised if there are a lot more uh, Vinny Visits coming out. Because, uh... Yeah. There's, there's a lot. So this bag here is stuff from Kim. And I opened it on stream because Kim requested that I do. So I'm just gonna play the clip and let it, uh, let stream me show you what I got. Don't worry, I'm being careful. The side with your address is facing me. I thought about that. This is not my first time opening something on camera. I considered ignoring your requests and opening it on the vlog instead of a stream, but I was like, you know what, no. Let me do it the way she wanted because the, um, uh, I don't know when the vlog is going to get caught up. All right, I'm going to stick my hand in and I feel a fabric. No. Is this? Oh my god. It's a little, little shopping bag featuring the queens. I love it. Oh, it's more stuff. Oh my god. So, wait. Hang on. I thought you were getting this shit for yourself. Oh. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. This is a little, like, thing to put over your Switch dock. Acrylic thing with a stand featuring the three wives. I love it. It's the same little chibi versions of the queens that are on the bag. And then this is very fucking adorable. I love it so much. Thank you, Kim. You didn't need to do that. 
Oh, I didn't even notice the Nia on here. <laughs> the little folder thing containing it all. That's awesome. Thank you, Kim. So a friend of mine, he um, gave me a referral code for an app. It's an app that I feel like I've heard of before, but it, I can't like place the name. It's called Whatnot. And now what, on Whatnot, it's an auction site. And I bought a couple of things on Whatnot. And they got here today. So I'm gonna show you what they are. I'm glad I record the vlog and don't stream it for things like this. There was like a pack and slip right on top with like information. Oh, hey, it's an envelope. Oh, hey, it's another envelope. And now the box is empty. So let's see what's in the envelopes. Here is one of the two games that I got, and I can already feel which one it is. It is a One Piece game on the GameCube. Now, I haven't met that guy on the front, but I've seen him before in memes. And, you know, I'm just getting into One Piece. I wanted to, I wanted to play. I wanted a One Piece game. Honestly, looking at the, the art, it looks cool. Probably not going to play it anytime soon, but, you know, having more One Piece, having some One Piece stuff is, is nice. I'll definitely enjoy that at some point. And then the other thing here, I bought it, but it's not actually for me. I got it because it, this game is important to Amber, but it's a version of the game that I know for a fact she does not have. It's Super Mario Brothers 3 for the Famicom. Now, I know she is like super big on Super Mario 3, especially the Game Boy Advance version, but I figured it would be nice to get her another version of the game because it is, it means a lot to her. So I did. And I can't wait to give it to her. In fact, uh, this might be out before she gets it, but it's fine. Not bad for a $10 refer a friend credit. <laughs> <sighs> so normally on Monday nights, we hang out in Discord and watch stuff, play games, do whatever. Today, we focused specifically on the computer troubles that Patrick has been having. And I, I don't have a picture ready or any specific video ready, but basically what was happening was for no discernible reason, he would just randomly in the middle of stream start dropping hundreds of thousands of frames. And it's not his internet because he would test his internet while he's streaming and it'd be fine. So after troubleshooting, one of the things I suggested was, hey, you're putting a lot of stress on your graphics card, especially while you're playing PC games. Why don't you try switching the stream encoder, or one of the encoders, but specifically the stream encoder, to the um, to the software side so that it goes to your CPU instead of your GPU. Because your GPU is now doing the recording and doing the game and now doing the stream as well. So it's like, okay, take some of that stress off, take some of that workload off, because it could definitely use the little bit of extra help. So that's what we did, and knock on wood, he hasn't had any issues in the test stream that he did tonight. Like, he booted up Bloons Tower Defense 6, and doing no mic while we were chilling in chat, he went and, um, did a lot of stuff and it seems to be uh it seems to be doing okay. And then he went and played uh uh, uh Mega Man Zero X f Mega Man X four the zero route hundred percent I think? I don't know. I'm not super well versed in Mega Man stuff, so I ask him. But it looks like we have his problem solved and uh, you know not for nothing, I've been working with OBS long enough to know that sometimes the issue is, shouldn't be an issue, but it is. 
But if it's working for him, it's working for him. <laughs> and I'm glad we got it figured out. But it, it's late. I gotta go to bed now. <laughs> so, I got sidetracked trying to bring the tweet up in order to shoot, to, to, to film this clip. Um, bah, 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 bah. I beat Spider-Man. Obviously, I didn't beat it right when I sent the tweet. I beat it during this morning's stream. But I beat Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2. Um, and I, I say it in the tweet thread. My, like, main gripe is late game stuff. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I know the game is less than a year old as of me filming this, but I know a lot of people have played it. But still, if you don't want to be spoiled, probably... Probably don't want to be here for this discussion, and I apologize. But the game was great. Um, it was a great follow up for the first two games. And then um, my only real gripe was that you have the symbiote for a good chunk of the game, but then Venom is like here and gone very quickly, especially if you're the type like me that uh, focuses main story for a like, when you get hooked, so it's like, maybe give us a little bit more time with Venom. Like, the symbiotes or whatever, because they're just all over the city, but, like, Venom himself, like, comes and goes, like, ridiculously fast, and it's annoying. Um, but I enjoyed the game overall. It, everything that it introduces is a great follow-up. I did have a glitch happen, though. Um at some point and I would have to go back and see when this starts to see if I caused it but um I have a little notification badge saying I have a suit that is affordable and both Peter and Miles are at 100% for their suits so I'm like the hell are you talking about game and when I researched it, it said when you get to New Game Plus it'll be fine I'm like no I want to have all of my trophies before New Game Plus. So at some point I'm going to go back and play through the game again in New Game Plus so I can finally get that Platinum Trophy. But damn. Overall, I, uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And I did play a little bit more after I beat it on stream because I know I didn't do a lot of the side stuff. And I'm very happy that we were able to get closure on Harry at the end of the um, Emily May Foundation experiments because it honestly felt deserved. But um, by and large, the game is great. I would give it a nine out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if Venom didn't feel like a blur, <laughs> but it was definitely, uh, it was definitely worth the time and the money. And I'm glad I got the PS5 <laughs> back when I did, well before this game came out. Because if I did not have a PS5 and was not able to play this, I would be so sad. Because I know I would not be able to help myself and go watch the cutscenes. Because it was easily the game I was most hyped for last year. <laughs> anyway, here it is. There it is. But it's Tuesday. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week for, I said it's probably going to be Tears of the Kingdom, so it's probably going to be Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs>